Hello, it's Marcus Boyce, and in the next two episodes, we're going to take a look at a couple of FTP, that's File Transfer Protocol, programs for OS X. In this week's episode, we're going to take a look at Flow. Okay, I've got Flow open, and I've already connected to my website. You can tell this at the top because it says the name of the FTP site. There you go, marcusboyce.co.uk. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just show you the connection. So we'll go new window, and in here is where you type the details, so on and so forth. And you can choose between FTP, secure FTP, uh, mobile me, iDisk, Amazon F3, any server that supports WebDAV or a local file system. When you first open Flow, on the left, presented in the finder style layout is your local files so in this case it's my home folder so you've got desktop documents so on in the middle pane is the remote site in this case my website um, this shows whatever is in the FTP site that you're connected to now flow supports quick look so you can click on a file and press the quick look button just like you would in Finder or you can press spacebar, the same shortcut as Finder to have a quick look at the documents in there. Again, just like in Finder, you can have a list view or you can have column view. There's no icon view in Flow. Um, but list and column work just like they do in Finder. You can edit HTML, text documents and so on inside the application without needing to quit or launch a third party application. Just edit your document and click save and it saves it back to the original place or click preview and you can see what it will look like just cross it off now you can upload files and folders uh, from either finder or the remote site quite simple we'll uh, just open a folder here and I'm going to upload this picture of a uh, iMac I'm going to drag and let go and you get the transfer window and as you can see there it goes it's uploaded I get a growl notification that it's told me it's uploaded and the same works in the other way so I'm going to get this read me before you apply blend a rich text document I'm going to drop it in my documents there we go, it's downloaded. Again, you can select it. You can move it if you wanted. Because it's an editable file, you can edit it. You can right click on it and we'll delete it. Or you can use Command Backspace. That gives me a warning. Deleted items can't be restored. I'm going to delete that. If you need to go outside of your home folder down here, we can select the rest of the Mac. So as you can see, you can go into all the other folders if I have permission to go into them. Clicking on this blue folder will hide the folders and bring bookmarks up. And at the moment we don't have any bookmarks so let's add a new bookmark and we'll add my website. So we call it my website. Okay. So there we go, you can instantly connect to that. I've got opened it in a new tab. What we'll do now is we'll create a new bookmark folder and we'll drag that into there and right click edit bookmark folder and we'll call that websites. And you could go on to add more websites if you wanted to. Flow is a very simple to use FTP program. You can get a free trial by going to extendmac.com slash flow.
Please remember to check back soon for more screencasts.